Hey, hey, how are you doing today? How are you feeling? Who are you feeling like today? All right, so all this week we're talking about know your cycle, because how can you use something that you don't really know too much about, right? It's like picking up a wrench and trying to figure out how to screw in a light bulb, right? If you don't know a lot about it, we need to figure it out. So yesterday we talked hormone basics. Today I wanna to talk about week one of your cycle, the week where frisky Fiona starts to show up right? Now, the first thing I want you to keep in mind as we go through these, the next four days, these four personalities, is that everything's a little fluid. When I say frisky Fiona shows up day one through seven, meh, maybe it's days three through ten, maybe it's days two through eight. Everybody's just a little bit different, but the gist is here, and the weeks kind of run into one another, okay? So first off, we're going to talk about frisky Fiona. Day one of your cycle is the first day of your period, Okay, as we're headed into day one, both your progesterone and your estrogen are very low. So you don't probably start the week out feeling like super full of energy or super frisky, but the estrogen is on the rise. And as the week goes on, you're going to start feeling that a little bit more frisky. But some other things that you might be feeling are your brain power. Your brain is going to really kick into analytical mode like reviewing last month's financials, reviewing the outcomes of the goals you set for yourself last month, like crunching numbers, super analytical. So if you're gonna do your taxes, you do your taxes on week one, okay? Some food that will help support the estrogen and the raising estrogen levels is cooling foods. Now that's an Eastern medicine term, so I'm not necessarily talking about raw and cold foods, although kinda, some. Um, it's going to help keep your body temperature lower, right? The first half of the month, your body temperature naturally runs a little bit cooler, and we want to support that cooling because that supports the estrogen. And estrogen is what brings us the analytical brain, the strong body, and feeling better, right? So some cooling foods include fish, chicken, turkey. The spices we want to put on those foods are also cooling, like dill, cumin, sage, um, mint, right? Things that are cool. If you, um, if your honey says, hey honey, where do you want to go out to dinner? Think Mediterranean. I want to go to that new Mediterranean restaurant. I want to go to that new fish house. How about Chick-fil-A? Right? We want to think about cooling foods. And this is just also kind of a way to help your partner, like quit with the back and forth, right? Hey, what do you want for dinner? I don't know, whatever you want to make me. Oh, that's no good. At the very least, I'm narrowing down your options for you here, okay? Now, how about your beverages? Again, they should be on the cooling side. So they should be room temperature at the warmest and then or filled with ice, right? So get some cooling beverages, right? So hold back on the coffee. If you're a hardcore coffee drinker, try to limit it to one coffee a day. Back off the caffeine. Um, back off the dairy as well. That is that's actually a warming food. So if you can keep away from the dairy, especially the first half of the month, that's an awesome thing. What about your chocolate? Do you know there's all kinds of chocolates out there? And keeping with that cooling theme, get some mint chocolate for this first half of the month, right? Tell your partner, hey, how about some minty chocolate? All right, other things that might play into Frisky Fiona might support Frisky Fiona. During the estrogen phase or the first week and a half, two weeks of your cycle, uh, your body prefers to run on carbs. So if you want to lose some weight, you're going to do some carb cycling. Um, exercise. Maybe, again, maybe not days one, two, three, but as you ramp up through the rest of the next two weeks, you're going to be feeling stronger and more powerful. You're going to need a lot less rest, and the hormones that are flowing through your body are super. Um, muscle building, right? So you can lift super heavy. You don't need a ton of rest. So these are your two weeks that you lift really heavy. Now, here's a place where your cycle is cool, ladies. Like, you don't have to lift all month long like the guys do to gain muscle. Just really use these two weeks when your estrogen is running high and your testosterone starts to peak there. And by peak, it's nowhere near what your estrogen is, but your testosterone also peaks right around ovulation time. So lift heavy then. And then in the second half of the month when your progesterone grows up, you don't have to. The recovery stuff is going to help you maintain the muscle that you gain during the muscle building half. 
So really go all in on the activity, on the exercise. Um, what else? Social. First half of the month, um, here during Frisky Fiona time, more socialization. She's really feeling you're wanting to dance, you're wanting to party, you're wanting to see other people, you're wanting to get out and about. Really great I date ideas would be going for a walk, going for a hike, going ice skating, um, especially if they keep you cool in addition. Um, but again, when your guy says, hey, what do you want to do today? Hey, let's go for a walk. This is the half of the month to do that in, okay? And what about sex? Frisky Fiona didn't get her name for no reason. Now, maybe not days one, two, three, right? Not everybody likes to have sex during their period, and that's totally cool. But just know that as your period is winding down, your estrogen is really starting to skyrocket, and that's really cranking on the libido, right? Because survival of the species. So nature is kicking in, hey, it's time to get pregnant. And it doesn't take much to turn that libido on, right? Sex is usually pretty quick, pretty experimental, kind of randy. This is the time to try new stuff, right? Um, that's what I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed this primer on what Frisky Fiona likes. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow during part three of the Know Your Cycle. We're going to talk about the second personality that starts showing up on week two of your cycle, Shira Sherry. Have a fantastic afternoon.